Right, welcome everybody to Latif's Inspired. Today I'm doing something very different. Um, interviewing an MMA fighter. He's going to have his first ever fight on... Uh, 16th of November. 16th of November. So I'm going to promote it. I'm a budding MMA uh, fan. Uh, he's my young nephew, so I changed his nappies and he's a big man now. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start... Well, his mum's preparing some food. Uh, so it's a foodie vlog. Uh, but I want to introduce uh, young Zachariah over here for his first fight and hopefully get the promotion started and hopefully uh, he'll be interviewing me one day soon as well. <laughs> so uh, this is, uh, if you'd like to introduce yourself, what's your name? Uh, my name is Zachary Amir. Uh, I'm fighting at 63 kilos. You know, um, uh, well, well he's, having, he's having his first fight, yeah, first fight. and uh, <laughs> we need a lot of promotion. Obviously, um, there's, he, has to, he has to back himself at the moment, get people uh, supporting him. And we've already sold out quite a few seats, haven't we? Yeah, almost uh, 70 seats supporting me, and there's a few other that are going on for my friends' tables. Uh, and a lot of the money that we're raising is going towards uh, cha uh, well, charity, it's for cancer research. So basically, he's managed himself uh, with fr um, support from friends and family. He's managed to sell 60 seats. And um, the other fighters, everybody has to basically sell their own seats get the promotion started and uh, once uh, he has a few fights under his belt and he's doing well hopefully we'll get the first win and then it's be easy to sell the seats and stuff like that so it's quite hard uh, at the start at the beginning so I'm trying to do my bit to support my nephew and uh, hopefully today we're gonna have a nice big fat meal it's my day off his mom's treating me we're gonna have some lamb leg and uh, what else some chops and some chops lamb leg uh, veg as well definitely veg chicken. so loads of vegetable <laughs> loads of lamb loads of chicken and what else, young lady? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. You wanted to be, she wanted to be on the channel, and now she's shy. <laughs> what else are we eating? I'm not sure. You're not fish. sure? I think fish. You fish think fish? Well. fish okay. Well. What else are we eating? Chips. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. We're going to have a very nice meal. Definitely with that enthusiasm, we're going to have some <laughs> chips. So I think I know what his favourite food is. So we're going to go inside and hopefully, um, I'll give you a little toy. It's quite nice over here. Uh, I'll show you a little dumpster, it's quite funny. <laughs> the compost. <laughs> so, uh, this is my sister's compost. So you've got all these eggs and all these nastiness in here. Hopefully that's going to, uh, it's going to make all the soil fertile and um, yeah, hopefully grow some good crops here. Yeah, hopefully she's going to grow some stuff over here. I actually got some chilies. I'm going to show you some chilies. Um, what did she grow here? There was coriander growing here, but obviously we've picked it all now. Look, look, this, those were yeah. the Mommy's <laughs> coriander. <laughs> and this is a proper Bengali uh, style uh, farming over here. So she's got a nice big garden and she's got this uh, uh, gourd, like, you know, if, if, or for the Bengali people, khodu, you know, so we've got khodu over here. Um, she grew coriander. Um, I'll show you some chili. Oh, So these are the these are the chilies. Can you zoom into here? So these these red chilies are beautiful. Do you know what these chilies are called, by the way? Are these bird's eye chilies? These I think they're bird's eye. We don't. Where's the African mother? Oh, there, there, there. there. Look, there's the African. Those oh. are African. These are the these are the Scotch bonnets, habaneros. Habaneros. Yeah. Beautiful. Some, Very spicy. Sometimes they're Bangladeshi chilies. Sometimes they're Bangladeshi chilies. Watch. Chilies are those chilies. Chilies. Yeah. So. So basically, she's grown um, a typical uh, Bengali gardening. There's always green chilies. There's naga moris, which is the proper naga chilies, which everyone's familiar with. People who like vindaloo and stuff like that. She's got black chilies. These are amazing. Look at these. These are gorgeous. So I'm gonna have um, this red chilies. That looks beautiful. What else? These are some sort of purple kind of aubergine color. These are quite nice. I'll grab one of these. I hope she's not going to mind, but it doesn't really matter anyway. So there you've got the naga. So there's quite a few. So we're going to try these. Stop for me now. So right, uh, we're getting the lamb ready. Uh, we're going to get the marination and the spices ready and hopefully um, start the cooking process. Right, I'm going to go through the marination guys. Um, we've actually used a uh, store-bought um, Turkish mixed grill spice. So was that two tablespoons you put in there two by the way? Two tablespoons. So two tablespoons of this uh, Turkish mixed grill. 
and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika, one teaspoon. And was that low fat yogurt in there? Yes. So it looks like there's about uh, one and a half, Three. two cups of yogurt, and the marination's gone in there. Some and thyme. is this dried thyme? Yeah. And this is dried thyme as well. So she sprinkled about a teaspoon and a half of dry, uh, dried thyme on top. And is this rosemary? Teaspoon. Of and also one teaspoon of rosemary. And that's gone into the yogurt mix. We're just going to give the give that mix. Is that pepper? Half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of ground pepper. So that's gone into the yogurt. That's going to um, we're going to marinate the lamb with this and give this a mix. So Zachary, you want to do the honors? We're having this nice big meal. Uh, me and my brothers, we got together with my nephews, nieces. And we're going to have a nice meal and hopefully uh, wish him all the best for his fight, upcoming fight, you know. Feed him, make him nice and strong, you know. Dejaban anilagbo. Obviously turn, turn the lamb around, we forgot to do that, so get both sides. So the lamb has been marinated and now she's going to put her little secret uh, inspired touch to it which is gonna be olive oil uh, sorry mustard. sesame oil, oil. and because it's a traditional Bengali household it's gonna be mustard oil as well so it's gonna be about two and a half tablespoons of mustard oil so two and a half tablespoons of mustard oil and is that sesame this is sesame so I'll put two tablespoons of sesame oil. So that's two tablespoons of sesame oil. Um, it seems quite unusual for me as well, guys, uh, but obviously the taste is in the pudding, so once we have a taste of it, we'll see. Um, I mean, this is her little uh, little tip. This is her little uh, touch to it. Um, she's quite old. Uh, she's about 165 years old. <laughs> so she's been cooking for quite a few years. So hopefully um, she knows what she's doing. She does cook obviously quite uh, quite a lot. She's got a family of four, and obviously she's been my older sister. So she's been cooking for a very long time. Family uh, of six, don't forget to. Yeah, family of six. Obviously the parents as well. So they cook quite big. So big batches, big pots, and um, she's quite good. She cooks a lot, a lot of different different style of food. It's not just rice and curry. I mean, yesterday night when I came here, she cooked uh, lasagna, and I had it with lasagna with some sort of spicy potato, uh, beetroot salad. So it's quite nice, she, uh, she's, very, she's a foodie. She likes her food, as we all do in our family. Do you want to see the lasagna? Uh, this is actually it's the bit, lasagna. It's gone cold now. But yeah, it's gone cold, but that, I think that was my big fat slice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite nice, it was quite delicious. So yeah. Right, the lamb, uh, we've marinated for about an hour. Uh, so now we're gonna put the foil paper. So do you wanna wrap it? So basically, um, she went out in the morning um, to obviously feed us this lamb. Um, as the in Woking, shear water is it called? Yeah. Shear water, and they got a very nice butcher section, so it was phenomenal. So, uh, so are you gonna put this in? Yeah. It's Safana. Going, yeah. Yeah, you won't be careful. So what, what temperature is this, by the way? So it's about 160. So 160 in the oven for how long? One hour to four, 45 minutes to one hour. So 45 minutes to an hour, but I think an hour personally would be good. Um, so we're going to check, it's exactly 2.30 now. So 3.30, we're going to check on the lamb. Right, the kids are playing outside football. And we're moving on to the second dish. Uh, so what is this? This one's going to be a mackerel chutney. Um, so I've chopped some onions, some coriander, and some uh, chilies from my garden. Oh, I'm just using the Tesco own brand. It's very tasty, tastier than any any other ones that I've tasted. So, so basically, just going to drain it off. Basically, mackerels, um, Tesco's finest, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just draining out the oil. What are we doing now? So I'm just going to put um, some salt. Um, add it to the onions. Okay. So what measurements are we using? 
So I'm just going to basically, uh, I work in the pharmacy, so I've got loads of <laughs> five yeah. mil measured uh, salt. Five so mil quite, it's, it's quite, so five mil, spoonful that's about a teaspoon salt. of salt. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some more chilies because I don't think I put enough. Go. So basically, there's chilies. There's about a couple of chilies in there, but we, I just picked out from the garden some more chilies, and I do like it a bit spicy. And obviously, being from her garden, um, you know, she's putting in a bit more. So hopefully, we're going to enjoy these. Maximum flavor, nice and organic. So they're going to be mixed together. That looks gorgeous. I mean, traditionally, uh, how we would do this is fry the mackerel. Uh, pan fry it, a shallow fry sort of, with a bit of spices and then just mix it. But easy, e easily you can just get it from like tin mackerel as she did over here. We do use a lot of uh, fresh fishes as well, but um, this is a quick and easy dish for a working mum. Yep. So really simple, nice and easy. How many tins of mackerel did you use here? Four. And how many uh, onions did you use? Uh, one and a half. British white onions, yeah? Yeah. And you use the coriander, about uh, a handful? About a handful. And you chopped. use one uh, teaspoon of salt? Yeah. Uh, no so, other spices and no. just the green salt chilies. How many chilies? Salt just depend on individual's taste. And how many chilies? So about four chilies. About four chilies as well. So as, as, as she say, mentioned, salt to taste, guys. So if you can add more or less, we, we would recommend one teaspoon. Mm. Looks very nice. It is actually very healthy, and fish is the best protein um, to add on if you don't want to have extra weight. Really nice, healthy. So this is the lamb chops. So we've got uh, one and a half, uh, about just over one and a half kg um, of very tender British lamb, and the spices, her own garam masala. What do we have here, Zakaria? Uh, so over here we've got one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon of coriander seeds. We've got a tablespoon of jura or uh, jira, sorry, which is cumin, and, yeah. Yeah, and then we've got two bay leaves. We've got a couple of inches of smashed Indian cinnamon and a teaspoon of peppercorn and a teaspoon of cloves. So we're gonna cook the lamb now. So is that one cup? One cup of oil, vegetable oil, sorry, sunflower oil. So one cup of sunflower oil, guys. Right, we're just going to add some cinnamon. So that's about three inches, three inches, about six inches just smashed. So star anise, um, cardamom. Uh, how many star anise you got? There? One and a half? One and a half. One and a quarter star anise. Quite a few cardamom pods. I'm just um, going to use How many few. cardamom pods? About five. About five cardamom pods, guys. Right, so she's just smashed some fresh garlic and ginger. Um, how many inch do you, would you say the ginger was? It's just uh, 50 grams of ginger. Okay, 50 grams of ginger. About six cloves of garlic. Six cloves of garlic, so um, it's going to be very flavoursome. Yeah. Just smashed in that pestle of mortar. Goes in. Automatically, the, the fragrance is unbelievable. And then on that hot oil, the garlic and ginger has gone in. It's Smelling beautiful already. So roughly chopped two and a half onions are going in. So two and a half uh, British onions just put going in there now. Salt will go in. Now the salt's going in two big fat tablespoons or is it one and a half? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Obviously there's quite a bit of milk, uh, meat. meat, so we need quite a lot of uh, salt. Not good for high blood pressure, guys. <laughs> what do you like your favourite dishes from your mum? My favourite dishes, uh, probably her spaghetti bolognese, because she has her own little secret. Okay. Uh, she adds, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to say it because it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> um, and also fajitas. My mum makes a very good, very, very, very good chicken fajita. Right, so uh, the onions have been sauteing away for about five minutes. Now the Main ingredients going in, guys. Skin washed. So, just over one and a half kg of lamb washed and drained. So, this is proper home cooking, guys. 
so the lamb is changing colour as you can see. It's just been, the lamb's been put in and it's been a few minutes, what you say? Um, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm feeding myself some lasagna, I'm getting hungry from all the smell of the cooking. Let's see. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a mess, you know, I didn't scoop it up properly, but... You just whack this in the microwave and it's splurted out everywhere. <laughs> this is what youngsters do, yeah? So uh, he's a young boy, greedy boy, and he's having a snack, lasagna, all to himself. There nice, you go. nice big slice. Huh? Nice big slice to yeah. feed my big tummy. Yeah. I'm just going to add the spices. Going back to uh, the business end. So the lamb, you're adding the spices now, yeah? Yes. So it's going to be two tablespoons or heat tablespoon of this masala that I've made. So the garam masala that she's made, obviously there was quite a fair bit of ingredient there. She just used two heat uh, tablespoons, yeah? Yeah. Two heat tablespoons of that garam masala. And uh, is this chilli powder? That's uh, going to be one tablespoon of chilli powder. So this is going to be one tablespoon of chilli powder guys. This is normal generic uh, chilli powder. Is it extra hot chilli powder or just standard? Just medium. So just standard chilli powder. Sometimes you can get extra hot guys. Uh, now we're going to add some turmeric. Uh, a heap teaspoon. So probably. it's half a tablespoon so it's about a heat teaspoon guys. So the spice has gone in, give it a nice mix. I tell you, I love lamb and it's so tender, so succulent. And I think, you know, we're quite fortunate to have British lamb is just beautiful. Welsh lamb, British lamb is gorgeous. And we're very lucky, to be honest with you, to, to have just picked this up nice and fresh. And the price is pretty decent. And yeah, we're gonna enjoy hopefully a nice, nice meal. So obviously lamb leg, and lamb curry, a little fish sort of chutney, and we've got we grow men over here. Uh, so obviously we we'll we like our lots lot. of meat. So yeah, we're gonna be stuffing ourselves. So now you just cover and let it. On to the next dish. Um, I've got to say I'm quite proud of her. She's got these nice copper pans, proper chefy professional um, pans to cook with. They do, cook, they do make the food actually more beautiful. Right, I'm gonna check the lamb. It's only been about five minutes. She didn't use any water. This is just the natural water from the lamb, guys, that's coming out. So, uh, is this gonna be a Buna curry, yeah? That's going to be a Buna. So it's gonna be a Buna style curry, as you're well aware in my channel. Um, it's gonna have a nice thick sauce, and she's gonna add a Bengal Bengali ingredient called the shapkara. So the Bengali viewers will know what this is and the British Indian restaurant style of cooking you should be quite familiar with shapkora as well. Right, this is the shapkora. It's like a lemon, lemony sort of flavour. It's very zesty, very fragrant. Lemony, and orangey. Yeah, lemony, orangey, sort of uh, bitter, uh, zesty, sweet, tangy. Um, it's going to give a fantastic um, flavour on the lamb dish. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favourite uh, dishes, to be honest with you. Lamb shack. So we're having a, we're doing a prawn curry here. So adding, is that a cup of oil? It's just a little bit less than a cup of so oil. So half a cup of oil. And we're just adding some garlic. Chopped uh, garlic. Chopped garlic. How many cloves? About four. About four cloves of garlic. Four and one cloves. And one uh, medium sized onion. One tablespoon of salt here. So one tablespoon of salt on the prawn curry. And mix it all up. Then cover and let, let the onion salt it by itself. So cover up and uh, check it in about five minutes. Yeah. It's all on go now. Now we're going to start cooking the fish curry. So half a cup of oil again. Sunflower oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use ghee, it's no problem. But we would recommend something subtle. So sunflower oil or vegetable oil is quite subtle, it's not going to be overpowering. So we're going to add now some garlic. Crushed, roughly crushed garlic. How many cloves? Six. About six cloves of garlic. Yes. Roughly uh, smashed in the pestle and water. Do you want to check out the lamb or Yeah. Carefully cut. 
Yeah, the lamb is safe. Um, it's cooking away nicely. It smells fantastic. Especially like the garam masala. I can really see the difference. Um, this, the colour is going to be dark. Uh, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really nice and That's dark. That's the beauty of cooking, making your own masala at home. Yeah, so she makes her own masala at home, so obviously, you know, to give it a nice, a unique sort of flavour. And she's been cooking for a long time, she likes her own sort of taste and her own flavours. Well, so. having big families, not just my children, big yep. extended families, you have to cook a lot. That's, that's right. Uh, I think your garlic's will really caramelising. Yes, I'm just going to cover the meat. Add the onions. How many onions? About two and a half. About two and a half onions going in here, guys. So give it a mix. Do you want to check the onions in the corner? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So we got four dishes on the go. The lamb leg is in the oven. Zachary, what's the time? It is now 320. So 320, so it's been about 45 minutes or so. The lamb's been in, so we'll give it a nice little check. Um, so one for this and fish and curry, one and a half uh, one and a half tablespoon of salt guys. How many bass of did you get and what how many kgs by the way? This is about one and a half uh, kg of uh, bassa fillets. So it's uh, boneless fish fillets, guys. It's friendly for the children. Yeah, nice and easy for the kids. As you know, kids and loads of people hate fish because of the bones and they're quite scared to have it. So this, this is very subtle um, for the kids and for people who don't really like fish. Give this a go, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, give it a nice little wash and we're gonna go back to the cooking. What do you like when your mom cooks for you? You, you like meat, huh? Are you a meat eater? I thought you were vegetarian. <laughs> I am as well. You are as well. So one day you're a vegetarian, one day you're a meat eater, yeah? Yeah. Okay, are you, what about vegan? Are you a vegan? Yes. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No? Oh. What's your favourite dish that your mum cooks? Chicken. Chicken. Chicken curry, grilled chicken, roasted chicken, what's your favourite? I like curry chicken. Curry chicken. Do you like chicken with potatoes? Yes. Is that your favourite? Yes. Okay. That's everyone's favourite, chicken and potatoes. Yeah. Right, uh, for the fish curry, uh, you're adding, is that red pepper and tomatoes? So three vine tomatoes chopped. So three vine tomatoes. And quarters, four quarters. And red pepper? One red pepper to roughly chop. So this is quite an unusual combination to be honest with you. I don't really use red peppers in fish curry so I'm quite uh, intrigued to see how this is going to taste. So tomatoes goes in, red peppers goes in, salt is there. It should soften up the onions, release the waters. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I'm just going to cover it now and leave it. So cover up, leave it for about five minutes? Okay, okay. Right, for the prawn curry, I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. What are we adding? Um, use just ordinary curry powder. You can see. Curry powder is fine. Okay. So, is that one, t one tablespoon? One tablespoon. One tablespoon of curry powder, and we're going to add some chili powder. Uh, one tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of chili powder. It's not heaped, guys, it's just a nice uh, measurement. And turmeric, yeah? One, one teaspoon of turmeric. Do you add coriander powder on your fish uh, prawn curry? No, sometimes. So sometimes she will add it. Obviously, because you've had curry powder, curry powder already has the coriander, so that's fine. I tend not to use curry powder most of the time. So the spice goes in and we're going to cook it out now. So I just want to show this, guys. This is what she grew in the garden. It's a gourd, yeah? Chinese gourd. Chinese gourd. It's basically hodu in Bengali. Yeah. So she froze this, so you kept it fresh. I kept it fresh. And she's just adding it into uh, the curry now. Yeah. So I'm so just going to cover it. 
I mean, we're quite hungry, lads, uh, so we we couldn't wait for this to get defrosted. Uh, this is a proper uh, Bengali household, so we have hungry people and we cook it really fast. So the frozen gourd has just gone in. Uh, now we're just checking, checking on the lamb. Giving it a stir and mix around. Wow, look at this. Looks nice. How do you know it's satisfying, young lady? How do you know it's satisfying? Because it looks nice. Okay. So for the basa fish curry, now she's going to put the spices. So one tablespoon of paprika. So I don't normally add this, but uh, we'll, I'm, I'm quite intrigued how this is going to taste. So now she's added one, was that a tablespoon? One tablespoon. One tablespoon of paprika. Um, so one teaspoon of normal chili powder. I would say that's a heat teaspoon of chili powder and one, one teaspoon, teaspoon of, of turmeric. turmeric. Why do you add the paprika, by the way? It will give it a nice color and also the flavor. The sweetness, yeah. The sweetness, yeah. So and yeah. So and what is this curry one powder? One tablespoon of ordinary curry powder. So one tablespoon of just ordinary curry powder, generic curry powder, guys. So yeah, I just asked her the question why she adds paprika. Obviously, it brings out a beautiful colour and it should have a sweet sort of flavour to it as well. So can't wait to actually taste this. And if it's cooking away beautifully. Now I'm going to need to, I'm getting curious, it's, um, it's about uh, nearly an hour. We're going to need to check on the lamb, guys. I'll show you something which is really funny. Uh, right, this is in the cupboard. Zakaria, can you just show me what's in the cupboard, please? <laughs> this is a proper Asian household. Look at that. She's got secret curry stash. <laughs> <laughs> what's in there? What's in there? Show me what's in there. Oh, so this is a veg curry. This is a veg curry. So this is secret curries, guys. So mm. she's gonna add that. So vegetable curry. Is that, is that the lasagna there? Yeah. That's the lasagna. All right. So there you go. She puts the secret curries. She puts it, hides it because curry can be a bit smelly. So do you, is that what you do? Do you cook it and leave it in the cupboard? Yeah. Once it's cooled down. So once it's cooled down, it goes into the cupboard. In right, the you're going to check the lamb now, Zachariah? Yeah, I've got my oven mix on. Not my boxing mix, but... Uh, <laughs> so he's got his uh, oven mix. So it kind of suits him, actually. Yeah. So Can't, be <laughs> <laughs> Can't be fighting in this. Alright, you're going to check on the lamb. This has exactly been an hour. Steaming away. Wow. Oh. Yo. That's very nice. Nice. It's still a little bit red inside. So it's like, how are we going to have this? Are we going to have this well done or medium raw? Uh, I would say leave it for another 15 minutes in the oven. I think it's half an hour. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to put this in back half an hour. I'm salivating. I'm quite hungry. I had a very healthy breakfast and I'm not eating anything because I want to feast on this. So we're going to put it back in half, I think half an hour. Okay. So um, she said 15 minutes, but I think half an hour would be ideal. What, I normally cook it about one and a half hours, that's why. Right, let's check on the curries now. Uh, this is the fish curry. So the fish curry has been cooking away about 15 minutes or so. I'm just going to give it a stir and cover it again. So now would you, would you say the rawness of the spice and everything's gone now, yeah? Yes. Hasagun yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that's gone now. So it's smelling quite uh, very nice. You don't want to have, um, so some spices can go damp. Um, so obviously when it's added into the oil, it just livens it out. I'm just actually going to go into zoom into this. It's beautiful. There you go. Gorgeous. So I'm just going to cook the spices a little bit longer. So cook, she's going to cook out the spices for a little bit longer. I'm going to ask her to see how the gourd is, if it's defrosted. Can you just quickly see if that's defrosted? That's defrosted. Yeah. So we're going to check on the lamb. Yeah. So the lamb is still cooking away. Yeah. 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 So we're going to check on the lamb. Yeah. 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 If you got if you're if you're into allotments and gardening, uh, you know the pleasures of having your own vegetables. It's absolutely amazing. So right, and prawn and this gourd is just phenomenal taste. There you go. So the colour is beautiful. So we're using uh, prawns as well, yeah. Yes. How, how, can you tell me how much? Uh, what, how many grams are the prawns? Grams of prawns? So half a kg of uh, grams of prawns, guys. Just proper small prawns and I'll show you that shortly. Right, this is the actual um, gourd. I'll show you how big this is. Right, 
this the Chinese kumra ko yeah. So uh, my mom and my sisters they call this Chinese kumra. Uh, basically, I think it's from China, and uh, we call it khodu. Uh It's like a marrow. This is like a marrow, ain't it? Um, yeah. So this is what it is. Grew in her garden. So uh, it's free <laughs> and it's organic. So I can't wait actually to taste this. The fish is going in now. Um, the cooking time for this, the oil has released. One second, let me just quickly show them. Can you see that, guys? So now you know the onions have softened, everything's been cooked. And now we are going to add the fish. So you've just cut these up, haven't you? I chopped it. So it's nice, chunky sized pieces. Uh, how would you say, like two inch by two inch? Yeah. So about a couple of inches by a couple of inches, guys. Literally would take about, how long would you take, would you say now, now the fish, you add the fish in? Uh, about five, six minutes. Yeah. Five to eight minutes and the fish is ready, guys. So all you want basically is the spices just to mix the fish. Yeah, so the fish just marinates into the spices and it's ready. And the fish is going to release some gelatinous, fishy fattiness, which is going to be beautiful in flavour. And the spice is going to go well together. A lot of people are scared to cook with fish, but look how easy this is, guys. It's unbelievably it's very easy, easy, very quick. Very quick, and the taste is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the shakura, guys. So you're not putting it inside in, no? No, I'm going to take the bitter part out, the juice. So the sort of the citric side of it, she's taken it out. Uh, she just mentioned it gets a bit bitter. It does sometimes, but uh, to be honest with you, if I'm cooking fish or something, I kind of leave it. I like that little uh, bitter. It's the, it builds the umami. It's fantastic. For the flavor. fish curries, this juice part is wonderful. Yep. So like she's saying as well, for the fish, um, to put all of it in, the citric part, is beautiful but what we want is just the flavor we want a subtle flavor so we're just using the zest of this shatkora so are you using half of this yeah i am going to use half <clears throat> so she's using half of this shatkora and you can get this from asian shops guys they sell it frozen if you ask oh, can i have frozen uh you know shatkora they'll be very happy to um, basically serve that to you you can also get this in pickled form um, I don't recommend pickled form because um, it's too highly spiced. So I would recommend this. But if you don't have it, it's the next best thing. So I'm just going to pop it in the meat now. Uh, this goes in. Are you going to add any tomatoes in this? No. No? No. So I'm just going to add about two big cups of water. So she's just adding some water. She's mentioned about a couple of cups. So it's just enough for the lamb just to sort of get covered, right? Yes. Going back to the fish. Back to the fish now. We're going to add some water. One cup of water. So she's adding about a cup of water, guys. I know she's just uh, putting in the water randomly, but because she cooks it all the time, she knows her measurements. But if you're doing it at home, I would highly recommend you use a cup. Uh, so about one cup of water that was guys because if you put too much water uh, it's going to thin out the sauce which you don't want you want a nice sort of not too thick on this fish uh, but like a single cream consistency would you say Yes. Yeah. yeah so it's nice a little thick it just coats coats the fish kind of thing right should we see what how the what, what do? I'm going to add the prawns now now this curry um, The marrow sort of um, has cooked now. Now we're gonna add the prawns. So she's just washing the prawns. I'm gonna bring this over. Right, we come out to the garden and she's gonna pick out some fresh chilies. Fresh chilies for her curry. And this is amazing, I swear to God. This is the feeling of this. This is very spicy chili. Spicy chili, but forget that. It's having your own homegrown chilies is absolutely beautiful. The flavours, the colours is amazing and it's all organic. We should be eating more organic guys. It's food that is killing us. You need to have good quality food guys. The ones I buy from the shop, it does not taste like this. this exactly. Is... I mean when I buy it for the restaurant, it's not. Let me see. Wow, look at that. 
Yeah. So just quickly wash it. Take the stem sort of off and then chop it up, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to chop it, just cut it in half. For people who love chilies, guys, you're going to want a bite of this in your curry. It's lovely fragrance. Freshly grown is best. That seeds. Oh, it smells beautiful. That was about three chilies she's just added. So you've added the, this last minute because you want it to have that fragrance, fragrance. and still, yeah. yeah. So basically, you know, just for its fragrance and its color, uh, she's just added it and it's going to release the spices slowly from the seeds. So just fresh coriander, she's got one bunch. You get this from the Asian shops I, anywhere, I yeah? I got it from the shop, yeah. So, how much was this? A pound. So she's just got one bunch, it's a pound. Sometimes. Uh, in the summer, they have. You know, if you go to Asian supermarkets, you can get three bunches like this for a pound. Would you say? Yes. Yeah. So obviously it's winter now. Things are gone up. Pick this up, guys. Just roughly chopped. Just basically here the freshness. So now I'm um, going to add some green chilies into the prawn dish. Again, about uh, about that's about two three, or three, three, just sliced, just so it just releases its flavour and fragrance into that. Uh, she's chopped the coriander, so I think she's going to add the coriander now. Yeah. So, there you go. So I'm gonna that's a handful. handful into the prawn. For a couple of minutes. Fish. fish is done. Just a handful of coriander. Bassa fish, fresh coriander. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Now, this is the prawns. Oh my gosh, smelling beautiful, steaming away, looking absolutely gorgeous. What are you doing, guys? Are you hungry? What are you looking forward to eat? The, the uh, lamb and the meat. What about you, Jawad? What are you looking? Uh, what are we cooking? Chips. Chips? <laughs> you know you're even cooking the chips. I'm cooking um, huh? leg. Leg? What, your leg? <laughs> no. Whose leg lamb are we cooking? Leg. Lamb leg. Okay. We're playing the PS. Yeah. I'm chilling out. What are you playing? Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare, yes. It's a brand new game that came out, isn't it? Go on, 60, talk more about it. 60 pounds. Huh? <laughs> 60 pounds, isn't it? But I got it for free because I was game sharing. Okay. Yeah. So what is it? It's a shooting game. Online. Oh, killing people? Yeah. No, I'm not a very big <laughs> fan of these killing <laughs> games. So basically, we just got some as the norm breads, garlic and coriander. We're going to have that with our uh, meals. Um, if you like, have you had it before? I've never had this. Yeah, my kids love this. So, so yeah, if she would, uh, guys, if you want to have naan bread at home, she recommends this. Right, everything's being cooked. Uh, kitchen's a little bit of a mess, and I'm gonna enjoy this cup of tea, and I'm gonna get my nephew to come out and show us his moves. So I'm feeling quite hungry now, and um, I had a late breakfast, and what's the time? About hitting four o'clock now so we're gonna get ready to eat so just added some green chilies guys uh, sliced as, I, as, I, as we did to the, to the rest and we just added uh, two handfuls of coriander and that's it it's, and that's it. it's done turn it off oh my gosh this is amazing yeah. Yeah. Now this is the vegetable curry, just heating it up, adding some fresh coriander. So this is done as well. Alhamdulillah. All the food is cooked now. Now we're just going to cook some boiled rice, are we? Yeah. Now, oh, it just...
So this is the budding fighter showing off some skills. Go! Go! So you don't want jab cross, you want a cross jab. Yeah, uh, this is my younger brother and my nephew. So Zachary, do you think you're going to win? Definitely. My stand-up fighting is great. Go! I'm learning my grappling at the moment. You know, a lot of self-defense on the ground. I haven't done a lot of wrestling before, but um, I'm learning slowly. My, yeah. I'm quite fast on the ground and people find it difficult to keep, to keep me pinned down. I'm always moving around, especially because I'm smaller. Uh, but standing up, no one has had a chance to take me down. I always okay. keep myself moving. I'm too quick, too fast. So would you say, what's your favorite weapon then? Would uh, you say you're kicking, you're punching, you're grappling? Well, my, my strongest weapon is probably my jab because I always use it to set up my own pace, okay. my own tempo of the fight. And Just show me, show me some moves then. Just let me, let me get you one minute. So a quick jab, I'll show you. It's my strongest weapon, obviously, is a quick whipping jab. Yeah. Sometimes I might switch up my footwork okay. as well. So okay. South core, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll step with it. Let's well. see your kicks. So, I don't have any pads, but I'll do a teep kick, a Muay Thai teep kick. Okay. So I'll do a jab cross, push forward, yep. keeping this foot planted. So, whoa. Yep. And then a roundhouse kick. You turn your hip into it and bring your shoulder. Go on, just do a few kicks then. Move out the way, kids. Push. Yep. Go on, do some pad oh, work okay. and then. Let's do some pad work now. Yeah. So we're going to go cross, jab, up and start, and then left hook. So, yeah. so cross first. One, two, three, four. Like this. Push. Two. Push. 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 So we're going to go one, two, up and start. This way. Do a slow car, and then up and then up and 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 up so it's been uh, beautiful um, all the cooking is nearly done we've got about another 20 minutes for the lamb to get ready and hopefully we're gonna be uh, eating away Safana so, do you have a nice day today yeah yeah, yeah. I did, I'm very very hungry. Hungry. did you have a good time I did. I did. you had a good time yeah yeah I did are you looking forward for the food yeah yeah so it's gonna be nice the so, guys are boxing away Beautiful. Go back into the kitchen now. While these guys are fighting away. So the lamb's been cooking away second part about half an hour. It looks done now. Right, so um, we finished cooking and um, just have a little chat before we finish the vlog. So yes, uh, you wanted to do it for, for the donations. And uh, so there'll be a link in the description uh, to my Just Giving link. All the money is going towards uh, cancer research. That's what I'm fighting for, obviously. Uh, there's going to be a lot, a lot of people coming to the fight. It's going to be in Windsor. Um, there'll also be a link for tickets if you'd like to come and watch. Uh, and the link uh, will, will be a just given link. Um, so far, I've raised two hundred and eighty pounds. My target is five hundred, but hopefully, I can reach more. Inshallah. So basically, um, the link uh, and the event. Uh, what what's the date of the event? Uh, the date of the event <coughs> is uh, the sixteenth of November, and it will be at a leisure centre. And there's a uh, whereabouts uh, in Windsor. 
Okay. Um, and I think there's over a thousand people coming. So it's okay. a big, big event. So, yeah, so um, I'll put it in the description box, guys. And if you've enjoyed um, this vlog, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you very much. See you later.